India's tour of New Zealand. Welcome into the Basin Reserve. It is a gorgeous day in the capital for this day three of the second test between New Zealand and India and India holding the upper hand. That's because uh, they've played the better cricket. 192, they won the toss, they used those conditions beautifully. When they batted, it was patient, uh, highlighted by Rahani, Darwan and Dhoni. 438, giving them a healthy lead, which is still very healthy with New Zealand 24 for one and the deficit right up there at 222 runs. With this ball that is only nine overs old. The first ball, a minute late, and it's put away. Good positive start, that half volley leg stump. That's the intent you have to show. Oh, Denny, was there a fine edge? They all go up, he's coming! Well, it was very, very fine. I didn't hear anything. But the man who needs to hear it heard enough. Oh, big blow for India this morning. Disappointment for New Zealand and Williamson. A little bit of a shake of the head. Zahir Khan, it's the other one. It's the one that goes across the right-hander. Is there a thin edge there? Snicko says yes. Snicko says there is a very fine edge. So that's a very good decision. Early in the morning, disappointment for Williamson in New Zealand. He's gone for seven. New Zealand 27 for two. That's Rutherford. Stand and deliver, and that's what he has to do. He's got to back himself. See, that's a length ball as well, but he's got a different technique that he employs than, say, someone like Williamson. What he does, he waits for it to reach him, and you see, he hits it in line with his back hip, so he's, he's watching it longer, and if it does move... Right here. More runs. Controlled well enough. Yeah, the knuckleball, it, it almost goes down the pitch like, a, like when someone kicks a, a football with no, no spin on it. it just, like that, not pissing out on the opportunities uh, to score the run, just with a half volley. With higher reward. Lovely to watch. Oh, it's a beauty, absolute beauty. I don't think there was an edge there, but Hamish Rutherford's been given. Initial thoughts was, was there a good sound, but I don't know. It's a terrific delivery though. They want to check the no ball. Do they want to check the front foot? That's fine. No problems at all there. That's absolutely fine. Rutherford's got to go. Oh, there was. There was. No, terrific. Terrific stuff. Absolutely a good edge. Rutherford didn't look convinced, but good decision. Umpire got it right. I got it wrong. Rutherford goes for 35, 52 for three. Well, that will be four. It's timed nicely. Look at the footwork, very positive footwork. And with a straight, but that's a very, very good cover drive. Pace and carry. Oh, over the top, a little bit of luck there. That might be the last one. It was on to him when he was late on it, wasn't it? And it was probably the wrong line as well. It was more offside. That's another good example why Zahir Khan has 300 test wickets. You look at his speeds, 128, 127, and you think, oh, he's not fast, as you've quite rightly pointed out, both of you. Oh, that's how to play it. He might have telegraphed that, Zahir. And selected the wrong ball. Then he decided to go again. He backs his skill. And he repaid the faith in himself by smashing that one. Eagle shot. Beautifully weighted through the onside. That'll make it all the way. You were? Yeah, we had dinner last night. He was very, very nervous for his son. Didn't curve his appetite, though. Down at the Green Parrot. That's an icon of a restaurant here in Wellington, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. Just before lunch, Mohammed Shami has deserved it. He's bowled beautifully well, but 
Sorry, Latham has just followed one that he could have left alone. And Tom Latham, he's been so disciplined. Just had a wee fiddle with a wide one. He'll be disappointed. India celebrate. They pick up their third wicket of the first session. Snicko shows a nice, healthy edge. Mohammed Shami's rewarded for a really good spell. Tom Latham walks off for 29, New Zealand 87 for four. It's a great result for India this session. Three for 63. New Zealand didn't uh, hurt them as far as runs were concerned. Just 2.51 per over. And he got through just under 13 overs per hour, but 87 for four in their second turn at bat. New Zealand are still trailed by 159 runs here at the Basin Reserve. We'll be back here for the second session of day three in around about 35 minutes. Really good opportunity this for Corey Anderson to show he can play the long innings. Not just a hitter of the cricket ball. In the air. And he's, uh, well, he's too fine, isn't he? Fine leg. The very, very fine leg has not paid any dividends. Top edge out. Leading edge. Turn the face on it. Looking to play with the spin. It wasn't there. And a gift back to Jadeja. Yes, he's very disappointed with himself, Corey Anderson, because this is a soft dismissal for somebody who's known for his big hitting. He'd rather be out, caught in the deep, but not like this. Looking to turn the ball away to the onside. And was it that single that was not taken by Brendan McCallum? Sometimes that can happen. Cricket, uh, that can happen. That single wasn't taken. Anderson took strike, and he's now walking back to the pavilion. 94 for 5. Shout to catch it, but uh, he's got enough on that. It's one bounce for four. No one's catching that. It's a shot we've seen a number of times throughout this test match. Generally pretty safe because very rarely is there a man down at third man. That flew a long way. You get the feeling Brendan McCullum needed that. No ball. Clipped away by Watling and... Uh, the way good enough to reach the boundary for four. Real warm up delivery from Ashant Sharma. How far over is he? Long way. That is a big no ball. BJ Watling made sure that he didn't miss out. That's really nice position and nice timing. There's an edge. Oh, it has had put down. He had to go for it, don't he? He had to stretch. He had no slip. It wouldn't have carried to slip anyway. He got a good hand on this. Now, did it carry? Did he get there? Well, this is the reason, yes, uh, one of those difficult catches, but this is the reason I was suggesting a slip. India, 119 ahead, may have just dropped a little bit short. Yeah, I think that's just bounced. That was my first indication anyway, or inclination. But it was, a, it was a funny shot, really, wasn't it? It was a half run down to third man, half push it, push at it defensively. Oh, put him down. Second one now. Never easy for a bowler, but he probably should have taken this one. He has that big follow through, and he just couldn't get a, get a handle on the return. This is the second one. Brenda McCullum's pushed back. This time it was back to the bowler. The first one to the man catching, almost standing next to him on his right. It's always difficult in your follow through. You're just not quite sure. He's barely got a hand to that. Well, it, it was difficult. Mainly because, you know, the lock of hair coming in front of his eyes. away McCullum finally gets something he can launch into and have a good old larapat. He tuck into McCullum, touch short, real loosener from Zahir Khan and McCullum got after it very very quickly and made the most of it. Well it's just an average delivery wasn't it? 
knocking on 127k, but half tracker. Fold shot there, his uh, a mix up. Oh, New Zealand could hardly afford that. DJ Watling, uh, it's hit his bat. That might have saved him. He's very quick at turning and getting back. That was just right from the outset a mistake because McCullum's shot was false as well. It looked like there's some turn, but initially it looked like there's a run. And then McCullum said no. BJ Watling turned. And the bats got in the road. The question was, what it would have hit? Jadeja's by the wickets. He looks disappointed. Oh, it's the best edge BJ Watling's got all day. I think you're right. Game back on. Nice punch. Lovely bit of timing. It might even get there. I think it will. Gee, that was easy. A bit rare for today. Just waited for it and punched on top of the ball into the ground. Showed this outfield is quick. We saw that yesterday. Well, that's just lovely timing. That'll make BJ Watling feel good too. Ooh, nice bowling. 146 for five. It's T on the third day here at the Basin Reserve. New Zealand continue to fight in the form of Watling and McCallum. This partnership's been a good one for 107 minutes. They did lose the wicket very early on in the piece of Corey Anderson after T. 59 runs, so it's been a hard slog. With an RPO of just two runs per over, 192, 146 for five. And there in between times, of course, 438 means New Zealand still 100 runs, 100 runs behind exactly their target. After that, uh, after T will be trying to get through the stumps and knock off that deficit. Then we'll see. Then we'll see if we've got a game on. Yeah, so they're still behind these players. That's uh, five overs in arrears. Even though uh, the left arm spin of Shadeja has bowled 18 overs. Staggering. Not only that, he gets through his overs in about a minute and a half, which is very quick. I, th I think they've just got to end with this, the charade that it's a six hour day. It's a six and a half hour day, Test cricket. Zahir Khan opening up, and he's been very impressive. Well, sweeps, he sweeps it well, and he sweeps in front of square because he picked it and full outside off stump. And 50 for Brendan McCullum. It's a fantastic innings, 51 for 146 balls. Very unusual McCullum innings. He started to look like he wants to sweep a bit more. There's no men out there on the leg side, especially on the boundary. And especially not in front of square. And he chases, he chases, and he finds the gap. Yeah, it is a trap. India are looking for him to hit that one in the air. Not hit it quite as well as he did there. That's a great shot. He's obviously decided that even though there is three men back, he's still going to carry on and be aggressive with that short ball. Oh, that's high risk, though. Cutting and cutting well, cutting perfectly from BJ Watling. Well, this is the big strength of BJ Watling. Didn't try and over hit it, just guided it. And with, man, with nobody between a, a fine gully and a, the point man, which is in front of square, it was just a matter of finding that gap, which he did well. Beautiful shot. Just drifting into the pads, and BJ Watling is getting some of that touch back by the look of it. 183 for five. Not sure what it was, but. It's a nice, very nice bit of timing from Brendan McCullum. He just got the length that he required very quickly. He hasn't had many opportunities to do that. The forward press, then back, and as he went back, he gave himself room to make sure he could play with a flatter bat. It's a gorgeous shot. You need to have a quick eye because those opportunities have been so few and far between today. Another terrific shot. Hits a gap. Beautiful timing. He bats before he comes to ball the first one. 
Oh, look at the placement from McCullum. It's gone for four. Two men back. McCullum threaded the needle, picks up a boundary. Two of the uh, slowest men down there, so uh, not really a surprise. It's a quick outfield now. But perfectly placed between these two. Oh, bang goes McCullum. Wow, what a stroke that is. Bit of width offered, and he didn't even try to hit it uh, along the ground. Just whacked it, went through with the shot. 200 up for New Zealand. As we mentioned, it's been a long, hard slog today. Oh, bang. Oh, that is a classy shot from the New Zealand captain. Touch full from Charmy. McCallum said thanks very much. Oh, McCallum has thrashed that through the covers for four. Stand and deliver from the New Zealand captain. What a shot that is. He's been given just a little bit of room around the off stump and he's really whacked it. Now, India's got uh, a mid-off and they've got a straight extra cover as well. Now they've changed it around a bit. They've dropped the extra cover. Wow. He smashed that up and over. He's brought up a test match, 100, Brendan McCullum. What a way to go to it. Maybe a little bit of that frustration from the whole day's play coming out, but he has picked up another test match century. Been a fantastic fight from him. It is his ninth. Oh, oh. No ball. Down pass, third slip for four. Countless boundaries. A foot just over. Shant Sharma. There hasn't been a lot of these in this game. Brendan McCullum will take it. They're all count. Yes, and he finds a gap. And DJ Watling with that will bring up his half century. Maybe his most valuable innings of the summer in the making. Played very well. Very dogged, DJ Watling. To run away to the boundary for four. Thanks mainly to Brendan McCallum trying to roll the leg cutter. There's no gully. And there's no third man. And an emphatic no, and the crowd know exactly what's happened here. Generous applause for this combination. Standing ovation from some quarters because they have not seen attacking cricket today. They have seen defiant cricket. They've seen a really honest effort from India's bowlers. And they've seen fantastic captain's innings. And a fantastic support act too from BJ Watling. A partnership unbroken, 158. Come back tomorrow morning and fight on. But in all honesty, that group there have sat and watched and can be very proud of their captain and their keeper batsmen who have given them a lifeline. But, uh, at this stage is a pretty short lifeline, but it's still there. Good spirit in this series. Congratulations uh, on Every occasion someone's reached a milestone from all the players. It's been good stuff. Captain on captain there. And uh, BJ Watling, a generous round of applause for him as well. India started the day in charge, and for most of it they were. And at one stage when New Zealand were five for 94, they certainly held the upper hand, and we were thinking we might not be back tomorrow. And then McCullum and Watling came together, and this partnership has gone now for 257 minutes. Honest effort, very good effort from all those bowlers who have tried very, very hard for their skipper. None for 63, Sharma. Three for 60, Zahir. here. One for 72, Shami. And uh, Jadeja, 26 overs on the trot. One for 49. Final word from Sonny Gavaska on day number three. Very good fight back uh, from McCallum and Watling. Uh, when Watling came in to join McCallum, it looked as if India was poised uh, for the... Uh, knockout punch but uh, Watling was very very determined just like his captain took a leaf out of his captain's book and although the captain has a greater range of shots and therefore has scored more in this uh, partnership of theirs 158 the partnership it is Watling's determination that has also fired uh, McCallum 
very good effort from the Indian bowlers. They were just a little bit out of luck, a couple of uh, missed opportunities, and that is the reason why Mekalam is still there.